Hi, I'm at the RSA conference, Asia Pacific in Japan. We've got a room full of cybersecurity experts here. Um, I'm going to head over to the Juniper stand. Why don't you come with me? And what brought you to the stand today? Well, basically the game. So the game is very interesting, so I have to try it. There's no other games on the other side yet. When I went here, then I see this game, and all of the people were trying to to play in the game, so I have to try it. Okay, so Yash, tell me about this, this game. What, what's the purpose? Okay, well, the purpose is just to engage with the delegates over here um, in a fun way. Um, these are trivia questions, basic security questions, where they answer five questions and they appear on the leaderboard, and we reward them with a token of appreciation. Okay, yeah. and have you tried the game yourself? Multiple times. <laughs> and, and have you got the answers right? I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> So it's a, it's a pretty comprehensive demo, right? We show our capability of like the first line defense and also like the advanced capability of like picking up the you know malicious traffic and also those uh, you know unknown attack, right? So yeah, so it's all right here. I saw you looking at this amazing visual here. Yes. So can you tell me like what do you think this is trying to tell us? So one thing that caught my attention here was I haven't had a chance to have the artistic view of security before. I haven't had that look anywhere else and that's pretty much what caught my attention here yes it's it's definitely a beautiful piece of art so venica i can see you're eating green ice cream yeah. what's what's the re what's the reason behind it why is it green why is green because our new color new branding color is green that's why we have the mancha green ice cream here so Yash, one of the gentlemen I just spoke with was saying that this is the first time he's seen an artistic representation of cybersecurity. Why, why the artist? What's the relationship there? Well, I think uh, when you make things a lot simpler and you put a lot of colours into it and you cartoonize it, it makes it simpler for people to understand. So maybe that's where he got it from. Um, but what essentially this is, is also an illustration of the most complex ideas broken down into simplistic forms. What we are doing here is basically educating our customers in terms of simple and five minute sound bites in terms of our products, technology, the demos and all the cool stuff that they want to learn in these quick sessions. Tell me about the sessions you've been running today. Yeah, so today we had a session around managing business risk and uh, we had a pretty good audience here. And there are a lot of questions about how to kind of identify risk and quantify it and also be able to transfer risk, right? So there's a lot of questions about cyber risk insurance and how do we interoperate with like third party vendors and what kind of approach we have in solving cybersecurity problems. Those are the key highlights of the session that I had today. Okay. You've just delivered a session on cryptocurrency. Could you tell me a bit about what you were talking about in the session? Uh, well, actually, it was part of a seminar that's just been run here at RSA talking about the whole blockchain and cryptocurrency and what's happening in the market. Um, it's been a very interesting four hours, actually. We've delved right down into what blockchain is and how it's developed and also thinking about how companies may want to implement blockchain and the currencies that are sitting on top of that today. So I think people learned a lot. So that's a wrap at the RSA Conference 2018 and we hope to see you next year.